Something that we've talked about before is the difference between religion and culture and custom. So if somebody were to say to you that it's a cultural expectation or a religious expectation mm -hmm. for them to perform FGM or have FGM performed on their daughters or granddaughters, what would you say to challenge that? Well, in terms of involving the community, the most important aspect of the work that we do, the heart of it is community. Mm -hmm. And the community itself divides itself into women and, you know, g girls and men and boys, which is all of them that needs to be engaged in terms of ending FGM. It's not only about the women and girls, but the men and the boys play a major role in this. It's like the main role is, if they were as vocal as we are, as, as survivors or anybody else, if they were as vocal as that, mm -hmm. and said they we don't want this to happen this will stop in a day it will stop but because they don't want to say it and what is uh, literally making them don't want to say it, it's coming back to I don't want to talk about women's uh, private parts excuse me you have women private but in your house you're married to one you're using it people you know your babies are produced from it what is it that petrifies you in wanting to say, actually, I want my daughter to be protected? This is your daughter we're talking about. Forget about the private part and all that. Your precious daughter, do you want to condemn that the way your wife has been condemned for something that you have a power to stop it? That's the question I always ask. Yeah.